Hi, I'm Mike Wood. Here we are in Geneva to formally launch the EMF Guide and Mobile App at the ITU. The ITU, as the United Nations Specialist Telecommunications Agency, has set up a specialist team of global experts from government, academia, industry and the private sector to study this field and produce standards and recommendations. As you know, wireless communications is integral to modern society and we are always within arm's reach of whether it's a mobile phone or a device. And uh, you know, it's integral to every part of our daily lives. New base stations and networks are being erected all of the time to give us access to the quality communications that we rely on. And by 2020, nearly everything we know will be connected. So how safe are all of the wireless devices and the networks that connect them? This is a really important question to answer as we head to a truly connected world. To answer these important questions and help explain how wireless technology works in our everyday lives, the ITU has developed an EMF guide and mobile app with information from the World Health Organization and from the ITU. So let's have a look at the app and its features. First of all, accessing the EMF guide is really easy, whether it's by your laptop, PC, or any of the mobile devices. Simply go to emfguide.itu.int on your laptop or device, or download it directly from the App Store. It's available in iOS, Android, and for BlackBerry. One of the great features of the guide is the intuitive graphics that we've got built in. This particular graphic shows the electromagnetic spectrum. The EMF guide has six languages. Your device will automatically detect the language that you're operating in and select that relevant language. Or you can use the menu feature at the top to select the language of your choice. The menu has a list of topics and through the use of accordion boxes, each topic is either expanded or retracted. The EMF guide has a dedicated chapter on how mobiles and networks work, along with a detailed Q&A on mobile phone safety. For the example on mobile phones, we use this simple but informative illustration to show how they work. In this picture here, it shows you how your wireless device connects to the nearest network to enable you to make calls, send texts, access social media or data or whatever else you need to do with your device. Did you know that mobile phones continually vary their transmitter power and try and use the lowest amount of power possible? The way a mobile phone or a wireless network operates is to have an extensive array of base stations close to the users so both the device and the base station only have to communicate over a short distance. Quite simply, with the devices operating over a short distance, they use less power, produce less EMF, they have a longer battery life and they're more efficient, and this is something that's really important to most people. The other topics in the app are designed in a similar way, with informative graphics and easy to read information. The EMF Guidelines and Standards chapter has a summary of the Human Exposure Guidelines, the safety factors and the standards from the international standards organisations. The FAQ chapter is one of the most popular, answering all of the common questions people have on EMF and mobile phone safety. We've just launched the ITU's EMF Guide and Mobile App at the Study Group 5 plenary meeting and it's through the collaborative efforts of the global ITU group that we've put together the uh, content. Well, that's fantastic. Finally, our standards will be available through a smartphone. The EMF Guide will be regularly updated based on new information and research from the World Health Organization and ITU. We hope you enjoy using the EMF Guide and we welcome your feedback. <laughs>